Saint Lucia is setting the example by taking actions to limit greenhouse gas emissions that contribute to global warming and climate change. Sustainable Development Minister Sean Edward argues that while Saint Lucia is one of the smallest contributors to greenhouse gas emissions, it must do its part to reduce its carbon footprint for the betterment of its citizens and the planet. He spoke on the sidelines of a National Climate Change Committee validation meeting of its third nationally determined contributions held on Friday at the Bay Gardens Hotel in Rodney Bay. Climate change is a problem that we have to grapple with as a small island developing state and it is also a global issue um, and as much as we are not the culprits in terms of gas emission to, to distort the balance of the planet, um, sadly we are the ones who have to bear the brunt of the adverse effects of climate change with um, unpredictable weather patterns, severe droughts, excessive rainfall and things of that sort and they impact us very negatively not just from an environmental standpoint but also economically. But we have a responsibility, a moral obligation um, as a small island developing state notwithstanding we're not the main culprits but we have to lend to the global efforts to reverse the trends of, of climate change and greenhouse gas emissions. St. Lucia's third nationally determined contribution, NDC 3.0, focuses on energy, transport and forestry. We know that trees are able to capture carbon in the atmosphere, that of course if you capture it, you are reducing the, the issue of global warming and climate change. So we've added forests and we've also added industry, specifically the cooling sector uh, when we're looking at air conditions and the gases that are, air conditioning units and the gases that are um, emitted in this regard. So we're looking at an even more um, ambitious NDC 3.0, estimated at 247 million US dollars um, across those sectors and we are having our target to be up to 2035. Climate Analytics is providing support to St. Lucia to revise NDC targets. The energy sector is beginning to do quite well. Um, we see a massive reduction in emissions because of a higher uptake of renewable energy. Um, the new target might actually reach somewhere between 7 and 46% of reduction compared to 2010. Um, the transport sector has problems, so there are too many vehicles on the island and too few of them are electric. That means that this sector is not going to meet any targets anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, but that is going to be worked on as well. And then the others we are looking at are forestry. Your forests are still beautiful and doing well. Um, the emissions from that sector are still negative and we are also looking at ozone depleting substances which is um, also a very strong climate pollutant and will um, devise plans from the government to reduce those emissions. The NDC 3.0 plan will go to cabinet for approval upon its finalization. The Department of Sustainable Development has until February 2025 to submit its 3.0 plan. The ministry anticipates becoming among the first in the region to meet the deadline. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.